Papa and Sammy and Alley Bug. Today, I'm going to put this shade screen up on these posts. And the reason being, the less bees you got fanning the temperature of the hive and water going carried in to cool the hive, the more bees are making cells, excluding cells. The more cells, the faster the queen lays, the more bees, the more honey. Papa and Sammy and Alley Bug here. This morning, I'm going to take and install a shade screen in front of my hives. It is so hot and they're in direct sunlight. So I, I got a shade screen off Amazon, okay? I intend to install it out here about four to five foot in front of the hives. The reason being, your bees, as it gets hot in front of the hives, especially right now, you notice they kind of buzzing and carrying on. They're fanning their hearts out, trying to cool that hive, trying to get the air circulating. They need water, which is right there. Water, and uh, you have to keep it cool. Now, my idea is this. If I've got bees in front of these hives, I don't know, 50, 60, 100, whatever, because they're up in the hive also, fanning, they're not making cones or honey. So if I put a screen up out here, it should block this morning sun can help cool the hives off. Half of those bees fanning can go to making combs. Also, I put water out here for them. That, they need plenty of water to keep that um, uh, temperature up, or down rather. So, by doing two things like this with the shade and the water, hopefully I can convert more bees to making honey than fanning and trying to control the tri uh, hive. The hardest working bee in that hive is the ones carrying water. They'll make five or six trips, more trips than a worker bee. So if I can convert them over to comb builders, we got it, we got it made. Now, here's what I got. I had two old scrap pipes. So now I got two pipes of equal length. I got my tape, my cutters, my snap ties, my hammer, and whatever else I need. Now what I've done, I have laid my pipe out. And you can see. The next thing is, <clears throat> I would like to keep the pipe basically the top level. So what I'm gonna do, I got a six foot six screen right there. So I'm gonna measure my pipe, which should be seven foot six. Make that seven foot three. And I'm going to mark it. Let me see, seven, I'm going to mark it at 6'6". Six, six. And that way, I can drive it in the ground and keep my tops fairly level because this ground is fairly level. Not exactly level, but close. Now, I'm going to go 6'6". Six six. All right, on that one. <clears throat> six foot six on this one. Now I have a gauge to how deep to drive those pipes, which will be the last thing I do is drive them. <clears throat> now the fun part is going to be this. I'm going to take this screen right here. Now I'm going to try to put it on these pipes and get it anchored, then stand the pipes up and drive them. That to me would be the, would be the easiest way. Or maybe drive the pipe and hook the screen to it. Okay. Alright, I think that's what I'm going to do is drive the pipe. Okay, I want to keep it pretty, pretty straight. Off the fence, I'm going to come eight foot. That'll give me about, uh, about 
four foot to work with. Okay. Move this up. I got a hammer somewhere. If I don't put it on the ground. Ah, there it is. Okay. Okay. Now here I'm going. My first one. Okay, whatever it takes. Whatever it Now, as I said before, I'm going to drive this pipe. I got my little level. All right, I know I'll get there. It is right there. Now. That'll hold it. Now, let's see what I got. Let me see what I got. It's six foot nine. Okay. That's what I'm gonna need over here, six foot nine. Alright. Now get this baby. Halfway level. There you go. Now, let's see if I got my six foot nine. Not quite. Yeah, gum. Ground's harder than I thought it was. a tree root because it's not moving. Who is that? All right. I'm going to have to pull the mic off for a minute and get, get adjusted here. What I'm fixing to do now, or try to do, is figure out how tall this thing is. It's supposed to be 6'6", but it's very stretchable. Now here's the problem. I want to hold it about five inches off the ground. That way I can weed eat under it. And it should hold. So I'll get me a, a snap tie. And I'm going to see what I can do with it. I got it up here. It's off the ground. Take it around. Trying to wrap it a little bit to keep it more strength and not tear. Ooh, it's hot. Come on. This is not as easy as it looks, one man, one hand. Whew. 
Now, let's see what I got. I reckon for the first day or two, these bees are gonna have a fit. Running into this, not knowing how to get around it. Dead gummit. Well, I helped some. I don't know how much some is. I'm sure as the direction of the day changes, it'll, it'll provide shade. Oh, it, it's going to provide shade. Not as much as I'd hoped. Oh, get out the way, bees. See, that screen's already got them confused. See there? What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this and I'm going to back out and leave them alone for a while. And I'll tell you why. Yeah, they'll get agitated. Let them cool down for a while, get used to the screen. I'll come back out here this evening and finish putting it up. Oh yeah, they're literally getting caught on the side. Oh yeah, they'll be all right. Now, see there? I'm going to let them cool down, then I'll go ahead and uh, come out to seeding because you can see they're getting agitated. Daddy, hmm? before you move your mic, put it back by your mouth and thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Just hold it. Thank you for watching. Papa Sam and Alley Bug, comment and subscribe. And it is hot in South Louisiana. Look at my bees. They're all confused. Look at them. <laughs> You're like, what is this nonsense? That's really going to help, though, Daddy. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it will, because once that shade sets up, because uh, by the saving, that tree shades them. So this shades them in the morning, that'll shade them in the afternoon. That's right. And they'll slow down on, on, on the bees having to cool the hive. And then the less bees cooling, the more bees are working. I, oh, might, yeah. I might figure out a way to, to bring this around a little more. Eh, I don't know. I'll look at it. That's going to help big time. At least it'll give them an extra hour or so of shade. In the, in the wintertime, I'll pull that down 